While there are multiple different UI options for data filtering, there's also common functionality. Regardless of the way a filter condition was applied, it can be visualized and manipulated using the filter panel. You'll learn how to control this panel's availability and customize its content. Plus, you'll see how to disable filtering UI for an individual column or the entire view. The grid control provides multiple UI elements allowing end users to filter data. They can select a value from the Excel style column header dropdown or use the custom filter dialog to combine two filter conditions into one filtering expression. More complex criteria can be built using the filter editor dialog. Once a filter has been applied, the filter panel appears at the bottom of the view. It displays the currently applied filter condition and provides additional controls. Click the Edit Filter button to view and customize the current filter condition using the filter editor. The drop down button allows end users to invoke a list of recently used conditions and reapply them. The checkbox can be used to temporarily disable and enable the current filter. Click the Close button to hide the filter panel and clear the current filter. The default behavior you've just experienced is that the filter panel appears when you apply the filter and disappears when the No condition is applied. To change this, close the application, expand the grid's Options View property, and set the Show Filter Panel mode to Never. Now run the application and filter the data. The filter panel will not appear. Now let's open the Properties grid displaying the view's options. Set the Show Filter Panel Mode property to Show Always to always display the filter panel even if no filtering is applied to the view. In this mode, the Close button is not displayed within the panel. You can also hide the filter panel's Edit Filter button by expanding the Options Filter property and disabling the Allow Filter Editor option. Then, set the Allow MRU Filter List property to False. This disables the drop down button that gave access to the most recently used filter conditions. You can also use grid view options to control filtering UI availability for individual columns or the entire view. Close the application, select the Priority column, and disable its Allow Filter option accessible via the Options Filter property. Now run the application to see that the Filter button is not displayed for the Priority column. However, you can still filter data against other columns. To prevent end user filtering against all columns in the view, expand the view's Options Customization property and disable the Allow Filter option. Now all data filtering UI is disabled.